This property holds the title of being the only and only actual seafront property of Stockholm. We are sitting in one of the most ultra luxury property, which is seafront in Istanbul. This is the only project with seafront view. We are in the best location of Istanbul. You want to see the sea, this is the best option and this is the uh, best region that you want to visit Istanbul. This Your is home. why you guys have named this project as Sea Pearl. Of course. Atakoy. Yes. All right, everybody. So this is Mohit Beik uh, from 7th Global. And today we are sitting in one of the most ultra luxury property, which is seafront in Istanbul. I think uh, this property holds the title of being the only and only actual seafront property of Istanbul. Yes, that is. This is the only project with seafront view. You have your own beach line in this project and you can wake up in the morning and see the sea view from everywhere actually. And uh, we are in the best location of Istanbul. You know that when the clients, when they are coming to Istanbul, you want to see the view, yeah, and you want to see the sea. This is the best option, and this is the uh, best reason that you want to visit Istanbul. So you can get it, and you can see it in and from your home. And this is why you guys have named this project as Sea Pearl. Of course. Atakoy. Yes, of course. Okay, so both of these uh, subjects are very important. By the way, Sea Pearl. Why do they have named this as Sea Pearl? and then why have they named it Sea Pearl Atakoy and what is the importance of Atakoy itself. So uh, thank you uh, Dunya to call us today in this project. It's my and pleasure. And it's just fascinating when we enter this ultra five-star luxury project with uh, a five-star hotel. Of course. Out there. The, I think when you actually come towards this project and when you see this project and whenever you're passing this road, there is nothing like this in the whole Istanbul. Yes. Yeah. And this is what makes it special. So first of all, I would want to ask you, uh, when it comes to this location called Atakoy, At what's the importance of it? What uh, is the history of this area? And why do we consider it as one of the most luxury districts of Istanbul? Of course. So first of all, Atakoy is founded in European side. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned that here is the historical place. So in the uh, 9090s, when they reached Turkish, only Turkish, not foreigners, they can buy a house here. So because of that, the good option is here is suitable for citizenship and for residentship because there's not, not a lot of foreigners. And for this reason, you have a really good rental guarantee. You can mm -hmm. give your house for rent and there is a lot of people that want to uh, sit in this place. And also you're near to other sides and also you're ne near to Avresia Bridge and you can go to U Asian side as fast as it can possible for you. Nice, nice. And this location Atakoy, I think uh, the sea belt that is going on uh, across this area with a big huge belt of park. Yes. Uh, and uh, we have Floria there, we have Zatunburnu there and uh, all of these districts i think if you understand the trend of turkey in itself uh it's all about the sea of course it starts from the sea i think it's it ends from this it ends to the sea istanbul being the metropolitan city you go out of it you see bursa yes you see yellow you see yellowba you see bursa you see bodrum you see alani antalya alania Fethiye, Mamaris, everything that you see is what has grown in Turkey, what has fruited in Turkey, the best investments or the best areas or the best footfall areas where people are always traveling all around the year are all those lands which is actually very close to the sea. Of course. Right? Yes. And which, which is why I want people to understand as we have always heard in, in previous times, you know, when civilizations will move, what will they look for? You know, the whole land would be uh, free to wherever you want to stop, wherever you want to make your houses, whatever yes. you want to do. But what would they look for? They would look for the water canal. Of course, they're they looking would, for the sea. <laughs> they would look for the sea. Uh, only sea. And actually, let me mention that this is the only project has the short uh, line. Mm -hmm. Then you can use it to bring your boats and go whenever well, you want so i think uh 
I may not be wrong, but I think uh, just a few, very few projects or areas that allow an individual who wants to park their own personal yacht. Yes. This is one of those areas. Uh, this is one of those projects so where you can own your personal yachts. Yes, you can and bring it here and go to Bursa, Yalova and also the other cities. By sea. Yes, by the sea. With <laughs> no traffic. <laughs> okay. That is really, that's really, really cool. And uh, okay. Also, uh, I think Atakwa in itself and this area, this belt in Istanbul, even in Istanbul, this belt near the sea. If you see the Golden Horn, yeah. you know, if you see uh, other places like Beşiktaş, everything is everything that is close to the sea has always been the center of attraction, yes. the center of tourism also, yes. uh, you know, and it has always attracted people. And this is why I want the first thing on this topic to for the people to understand that worldwide, globally, seafront properties are a different ballgame altogether. Their, uh, you know, value, their appreciation, and their target market. Yes, right. Of I think uh, nobody hits the sea, and uh, seafront is loved, in, and you know, by everyone around the world. So let's come back to this uh, project called Sea Pearl, which by its name shows everything. <laughs> So it's the pearl of the sea, yeah, pearl. and uh, this is a ready project by the way. So yes. I would want you to tell us a little about the project in itself, mm -hmm. what we have in this community. Community by the way is another added value because there are very few projects uh, or there are very few communities in Istanbul. There are people who like, like to live in a community, Covid has taught us that, yeah? Yes. And they love to enjoy their own private spaces of course. you know and uh, where they can actually come down have an probably ultra luxury service if they want or uh, a walk or anything in their own compound of course yes. so in our project as we mentioned that we have one uh, 1200 meters a beach line that's only the people that are live here can use it there's no interest for the others people and the other thing that makes us different with other projects that you can use the social facilities of Five Stars Hotel. You can use it for the free. Mm -hmm. And in our project, uh, we said that, but I will mention it again, that we have all of the apartments has the sea view and you can find one plus one up to four and a half plus one well, in our project. The 